All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about it. And we got to talk about why ChatGPT is better than Google Bard. I had previously talked about the other side of it where Google Bard was just a little bit, a little, little teeny bit better in some ways than this beautiful application. But as a ChatGPT Plus member and someone who uses their AI's API consistently, I feel like I have a decent perspective on why this tool has a lot of things better than that tool. You see ChatGPT's opponent, Google Bard, in the corner over there. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoe bird. In all seriousness, let's get started diving into the three reasons why this is better. First and foremost, content creation. So from a content creation standpoint, I know that there's like a backlog of information that you're able to look at in Google Bard. I can go into this Bard activity section and see these different ones right here. But when it comes to content creation, I have found that the prompts that I'm able to do from a multi-sequence standpoint are just significantly better in ChatGPT. So to leave out the information, so I did a little bit of a test email regarding salary here. And as you can see, I don't want to talk about this. Actually, it's uh, sort of sensitive. So from a production standpoint, this guy is just insane. So a great example here of different production is that I was able to take the, you know, podcast and newsletter manager that I wanted to sort of have on the team from a contractor standpoint. And it was able to quickly just spit out an example of a job description with just this. I mean, this is barely any information I gave it. And I gave a lot. I gave a lot of spit out regarding, you know, how to do these basic things like making a job description. It also can help you negotiate uh, contracts on emails. It can also help you write ad copy for ads. I think the most amazing thing here is the fact that you're able to regenerate responses and actually be able to cite go through some of the previous responses. So if I, for example, say, want to edit this, even just like one part of it, you'll notice that it started to change the way that it's tracking these things. Now I can go back through and click on here and it would show me the previous output. So I'm able to like manage the content within here better than before. And that's a little bit easier than going through, in my opinion, going to that old page. This also has a nice separation of when things were created. And also, I just have to say, if any of you have been receiving my newsletter, then you see some amazing content creation here. I can't make this up. I spoke this into an audio podcast for the Productive Brew on the Rise Productive Podcast. Make sure to check it out if you haven't. And it spit out this. I'm talking all the headlines, all the text, uh, and everything above here, understood all the different random points and tangents I made in this podcast and put it into a nice, neat newsletter. And this was done almost instantly. And the reason it was done almost instantly was because of something that OpenAI just has way above Google right now. Because Bard, it's great. You can go into the application and edit things. But when it comes to my stuff, I don't have to go in and prompt it. Sure, I maybe should pay for ChatGPT+. Plus. I could do that. But what I instead do is if you go here to my make.com account is I do this thing called a productive brew and weekly pour over transcription repurpose template, which basically when a new transcription is ready from me recording a productive brew, it then does a multiple step sequence where it looks for that notion item, ends up getting the transcription, creating a new MailChimp newsletter, turning that into a Notion page, making a podcast description with OpenAI, adding the description to the Notion page, and then it spits out the newsletter draft into a Notion page that then I can easily paste into MailChimp. And, and this is even using ChatGPT Model 4, so I'm getting the best version. Yeah, I'm having to pay a little bit more for that. I totally get it. But for those of us that are trying to run businesses that are effective, I mean, not having to do this is significantly better than having to have someone manually do it. And with ChatGPT4, the output has just been ridiculously good. If Google Bard had this, this wouldn't even be on this video, but it doesn't. And regardless of having to pay for it or not, businesses are focusing on utilizing this to decrease the cost that it takes for labor to do this kind of work. And the fact that it was able to take my podcast and turn it into all of these awesome newsletters with such ease means one simple thing. I don't have to pay somebody the hours that it would take to do this. And it honestly does it better than the average person. I'd have to pay an expert, I'd have to probably pay 50 to $100 an hour in order to take these productive brews and turn them into great podcasts that are turned into newsletters. But instead, I'm paying pennies on the dollar for an AI 
to parse through this stuff. And it just saves me time and lets me focus on the things I care about and the things I wanna grow in the business. And truthfully, I could probably charge somebody for this as a service. And last but not least, we have plugins that are coming. So the plugins waitlist has started and the goal of this is essentially to take this amazing software and implement it with a bunch of different platforms. I mean, think about this. Speak, which is a AI that's a powered language tutor, is something that could start with this. Obviously, Zapier is something that, you know, I use this with Instacart, Fiscal Note. These are amazing different applications that, you know, are on the docket for having these plugins. And if you can imagine companies integrating OpenAI with this onto their website. They can give you better curated recommendations for what you're looking for from a trip standpoint, from a restaurant standpoint, from an ordering food standpoint. And obviously you can see the applications for AI powered language tutor. Having a connection to other parts of the world or even a search engine is gonna make this ChatGPT thing blow up and change the way that we work and hopefully maybe decrease the amount that we work. Bard, I'm sure we'll have API connection soon, but the fact that it doesn't yet really does put it in the back burner in my mind moving forward. Just like you'll be on the back burner of subscribers if you don't check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.